We're with Governor Eddie Calvo. Now, t um, you were able to hear the speech, um, the sit down at the kitchen table, so to speak, from the Congresswoman. What were your overall thoughts um, about what she she talked about as far as what she's done in Congress over the last uh, year? Well, the good news is I was sitting down, <laughs> unlike the, my State of the uh, Island address. So uh, with that, again, the, the Congresswoman brought out that how in, what, a, what a very special time for it is for Guam right now. There are so many challenges, but there are also opportunities as well. And, and again, uh, much of the focus was, of course, in regard to the military buildup and, and again, the importance of working together as in a team Guam uh, approach and also a one Guam approach. Uh, there was also focus on the areas of economic development, uh, again, focusing on, on some key opportunities for, for uh, again, the, the tourism market in particular to uh, the uh, visa waivers for China. Uh, there was focus also on veterans affairs. We have so many of our, our men and women in, in uniform uh, and that are serving the nation, serving our island. It's so important that they get back to this island and they are given those proper services. Uh, there was, I want to get a little bit more information on particular areas in regards to education and job training, in particular to some of the programs that have been brought up by the uh, Obama administration. Mm -hmm. I think it's important that we look towards taking advantage of some of these programs, very similar mm -hmm. akin to some of the issues that we have in Guam in regards to tying in education with the economy. Um, again, a lot was brought up also into areas such as health care and Medicaid, and these are some of the points that we want to bring up in our trip to Washington as well. So again, these are areas where there is some parallel uh, focus in our administration working with the Congresswoman. And uh, again, I'll, I'll be there in the next few days and I'll be meeting her in the next few days so that we can uh, work a, a, a one Guam approach to, again, attacking these issues and ensuring that Guam's voice is heard and that these issues are resolved uh, by this Congress and by the administration. Now, there was also a lot of discussion when she talked about the buildup that um, we were going to have to go back and renegotiate. And if, for instance, with the funding for the school buses, um, yeah. she said, you know, Guam's going to need to go back, renegotiate, and really look at what the most pressing issues and needs are. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure you agree with uh, with the fiscal austerity, uh, the austerity measures, and and. Yeah. Uh, the fiscal conservatives that are in Washington, Guam has a, ha a lot har yeah, exactly. uh, harder case to uh, make as far as being able to yeah. try to get funding for this. But I think it's important also that uh, uh, that they also realize some of the unfunded mandates that have been uh, put forward by the federal government. Yeah. Uh, th there was a focus on the compact impacts. Uh, again, this was uh, a, an agreement put forward by the United States, and with those compacts. Uh, there was also a, uh, a, uh, a determination made by the United States that as they move forward in these compacts that there will be compensation uh, to those communities that have been affected. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I feel for them that they have their budgetary constraints and why they're not able to fulfill them, but they still have, uh, they have to fulfill them. And it's important that we push for that. At the same time, uh, whether it's 5,000 Marines or 8,000 Marines, it's important to, to that we, uh, we also have to mitigate that those Marines coming. They're all going to still use, turn on the spigot. They're all going to flush the toilet. They're all going to use our roads and our infrastructure. So it's important that we get some commitment that, uh, that those areas are, are, are mitigated. Again, and we focused on that one Guam approach that uh, it is in the best interest of, of the United States, of its allies uh, such as Japan, but also that it's also in the best interest of the people of Guam. And we all come out uh, with a positive net gain. Okay, now I know that the Congresswoman also touched on the visa waiver, which you mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, and I think this was the first time that we had heard, uh, you know, of course there's this big push for the inclusion of China, but she had mentioned the need for appropriate screening of Chinese visitors. Mm -hmm. Is that the first time you've heard of this? Um, well, I know you all have been in, in a lot of discussions with Department of Homeland Security. Actually, there's been a lot of progress in that matter. In fact, I want to thank the local commanders here. I think the Admiral and the General have been very uh, supportive of us here in Guam uh, uh, in, in, in seeing that, uh, that uh, more tourists coming to, to Guam and the United States, of course even President Obama agrees on that with his strategic initiative with China and Brazil, but it's, it's in the best interest uh, of the United States and Guam. Um, 
I think we're coming closer to a conclusion in that, in resolving some of the issues. And they, there are issues. You know, it's, it is obvious that America is both a partner with China, but it's also a competitor in certain other areas. So there are indeed some defense issues, but there are also, I, I do believe that there are, um, there is now uh, a common agreement that we, we could come to uh, a, a, a mutual consensus where those security issues will be dealt with, but then at the same time, uh, uh, an access of these Chinese tourists coming to Guam. And I, I think we're looking at that as a, a certain amount of vetting period. And I think we're coming close to a conclusion of that. One last thing, Governor, is I know that you're going to be traveling uh, to the mainland tomorrow. Uh, who will you be meeting with? I believe part of it is the National Governors Association. Uh, who, who else will you be in discussions with when you're in DC? We'll be meeting members of the administration, uh, obviously the Department of Defense, uh, certain areas in Homeland Security, uh, also uh, Health and Human Services. Uh, we will also be meeting with the Department of Interior. Uh, that is the areas in which, uh, uh, again, oversee many of the issues uh, affecting Guam. We'll be meeting with some of the senators and congressmen as well uh, in there that affect policy. I, I look forward to meeting with, with uh, Senator Inouye and other senators and congressmen that have, we believe, share, we, sh we, we share some like issues. Okay. Thank you, Governor, for your time, and we wish you a safe trip. Thank you so much.